we're here. Hello everybody, I am back. I have officially birthed a human and I'm ready to do other stuff now. So today I wanted to film a makeup look that I love. I feel like I perfected it last summer. I perfected it for myself, meaning I just really loved it. It's a super sun-kissed, no makeup makeup look. It's perfect for, you know, really hot weather. It's just beautiful, kind of gives you that spent too much time in the sun look, sort of like a little bit sunburn look almost. I think it's really pretty. And I busted out the product recently that I used for this, like my key product from last year, and it just got me excited to do it all over again, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I did not pull out my professional camera or any of the big lights. I just have you sitting on my makeup table, and I'm gonna just kind of film like an old school style YouTube video. I don't know, those are kind of my favorite style of videos to watch anyways. I don't know if you guys agree. So really quick, just to update you guys on my life, I did give birth five months ago and I had a beautiful little baby boy. We named him Kit, K-I-T, and we actually got the idea for his name when we were in France and that was the same trip that I started doing this exact makeup look because it was so hot and I was pregnant and I just didn't want a lot of stuff on my face, like makeup on my face. And um, when we were there, these lovely people from UK were giving us name suggestions and they said that's a really popular name in the UK. It's usually like a nickname, but we just decided we just wanted to go with that for his full name. So he's such a beautiful, sweet little guy and I love him so much. He's very attached to me. Uh, he does not really sleep. He has been waking up every two hours. I feel like I haven't slept a full night, honestly, since 2022. And he doesn't really nap a lot either. He takes like 20 minute naps. So I am just so exhausted. And last night was the first night he kind of really slept. So I was able to get a little bit of energy today and kind of film this for you guys. So, you know, you gotta do your SPF, right? This is so messy and well loved. This is the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. This is SPF 36. When the sun starts to get really serious, you know, I'll use this super goop one, every single face watery lotion. This is SPF 50. But just for days like today, this one's really, gonna do the job but like I said I hope the lighting and everything is okay I know it's not like perfect but I feel like it's good enough right I'm putting on a little bit of skin tint as a base for my brows this is the iconic London super smoother blurring skin tint I know that's kind of strange <laughs> but I feel like it looks so weird if I don't have something underneath my brow product and then I go in and use this again a little bit later. I do things kind of out of order for this look. I know it's a little strange, but it's just what I do. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. brow lift. It's just the clear. I'm gonna take the spoolie end, dip it in, and press my brows upwards. I feel like it helps my brow gel go on a little bit better. Kosas Air Brow. This is in the shade Honey Blonde. When I first started trying this product out, I did not like it. I felt like it on, it went on um, really patchy and it was like the more I applied, the more it lifted the product back off. I just did not like it. The more I work with it, I've kind of gotten the hang of it. I like it a lot better now. I still really like the Hourglass one, I think better because it's more of a fiber formula. So it really kind of gives you brow hairs where they didn't exist previously, if that makes sense. By the way guys, if you, don't follow me on Instagram and you want to kind of keep up with what I'm doing. If you want to follow me over there and check out just some, you know, makeup inspiration. I did a really fun look with glitter shapes recently. I did like a get ready with me, like a lilac look. So I'm just kind of doing more creative makeup inspo on my reels over there. And this is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer from Say. And the shade that I have is medium bronze. I think part of the reason I love it, not only the formula and the color is really spot on and perfect, but I love the big pan size. If I'm trying to be fast, I can just use a really big brush like this and then just kind of tap it on. So a big brush dipped in there is gonna give you a really beautiful just wash of color. On my lids with this one, across the bridge of my nose, my chin. So the product that really inspired this whole vibe for me is the Tower 28 Beach Please Power Hour uh, Buildable Luminous Color for Cheeks and Lips. So this is a gorgeous color and I would describe it as like a brick reddish brown. It's kind of the color of almost like 
red clay in a way and it's interesting because it looks a little like it looks very reddish when you first apply it and then the more you blend it down the more it kind of warms up um this is the elf potty blush in the shade maldives this one i loved for the fall really really pretty it just kind of gives you that like russet type of tone and actually that is super similar but what i typically do is i will take this power hour cream blush the tower 28 one and essentially just okay that's that's a lot <laughs> but essentially just finger paint this onto my cheeks take it across the bridge of my nose like this kind of fun because you can be really painterly about it get your hands a little dirty if you like doing that and we're simulating a sunburn basically now this isn't you know it's gonna look like this in the end because I haven't blended it or anything maybe I don't go in with quite that much product <laughs> normally today I'm gonna go in with the iconic London super smoother blurring skin tint the shade that I've been using is warm fair and this is a beautiful beautiful product I would recommend just do it on the back of your hand and go in with a brush like that's how you really should do it but we none of us do it like that, do we? We just kind of go like that, right? And some people call this underpainting, where you apply your bronzer or your contour and then your cheek color, and then go over it with your foundation to blend it out. I'm actually doing it because I like the way a skin tint or a product like that fills in the gaps in your blush and your bronzer and kind of eliminates any type of redness that might be still not redness like blotchiness that might still be coming through so it fills that in it kind of evens it out and i find if i use my cheek color first i don't end up using as much skin tint i don't end up using as much concealer it wakes up your skin so much to just add color to it and then i don't end up like needing anything else or as much of my foundation or corrective product it's, this is very very sheer and lightweight so this is not even like as thick and creamy as the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer that I like to use. Like this one is pretty lightweight and watery. So this is like a true skin tint. I find that on my skin, if I just do concealer and nothing else, it looks kind of strange because I have freckles. So my freckles will be more evened out around here or in the areas that I put the concealer, but then the rest of my face, they really shine through and I think it just looks odd. So I feel like balancing it out with a sheer um, product like this one just makes everything kind of flow a little bit better when you look at it. So sometimes I have been using this concealer, the LYS or the LIS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. If you apply it correctly, you can still get a no makeup makeup look, but I think a foolproof one is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I love this. It is just so beautiful and natural looking. It still gives you the coverage, you know, that I desire. And it also is a treatment concealer. So if you do apply it to blemishes or anything like that, it's gonna help treat them. And another thing I do is I'll take the concealer again and kind of blend it up through just to make sure our cheek color is blended. I can hear my son crying downstairs. My friend is babysitting right now so I can do this. Oh boy. So then what I do with my brows after I've blended my concealer out, just I'll take my concealer brush and run it through my brows. So that will soften them. It kind of flattens them <laughs> to my skin and softens them. And for setting my face, I would love to just not use any powder at all. I like the look of my face without powder, but I don't like the way it feels. I don't like touching my face and feeling like I have product coming off on my fingers or my clothes. And especially when it's hot outside, you know, you need something like a little bit of something just to lock it in. Uh, these little powder puffs, I'm sold. I love using these for my under eye concealer with my loose powder, but not for a no makeup makeup look. I just think it's just too matte and just too full coverage looking. So I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush. I finally am on the last of my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is probably lasted me like two years at least. I'm gonna get the lightest amount on here. So just the lightest amount. Powder can really make your skin look makeup-y, but it is kind of a necessary thing sometimes like I just explained. So I'll get a bunch on there and really tap it just to make sure there's no excess, just enough to dry down the product under my eyes and lightly set 
my lids so they don't crease. Maybe a little bit here, a little bit here, and then I'll take, I hope you guys don't mind hearing Kit crying like that, it's making me sad, but I know she has it under control. A really fluffy brush like this, The uh, this is the Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Breezy. I love this powder. I'm still not quite in a place of being able to set my under eye with it. I'm just so stuck on the Maybelline one and the Huda one, but I'm just lightly, like you can't even really see it on the brush. I'm just very lightly tapping it and then just do, 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 just that's it, honestly, for the powder because otherwise we're gonna be taking it to a place of light natural makeup and we wanna keep it at no makeup makeup. Ow, TMJ is kicking. Okay, so I have this eyeliner. This is such a great eyeliner. It's the Maybelline uh, Hyper Easy Automatic Pencil Liner in the shade 002 Deep Brown. And it's like a cooler slate brown and it's very small, but it goes on really easily. Tight line, just the very base of my lashes. So when I put my mascara on, I don't have any gaps or just like a tiny little wing like this out a little mini line that's just gonna almost disappear behind your eyelashes but still enhance your eyes just the tiniest bit mm. okay I'm just adding a little bit more of that blush with a brush just to make the color pop a little bit more mostly just in the front where the Sun would really naturally hit so funny because my older son Wiley he came in from a pool party the other day and he had this exact spot was red. Even though we, you know, make him wear his hat and load him up with sunscreen, it's just that little kid sun kiss look when you've been outside all day. It just looks so natural and cute, honestly. So, I mean, actually getting sunburned is not cute, but he wasn't sunburned, he just had a little bit of rosiness. Pulled this mascara randomly out of my drawer the other day and I absolutely love it. The Bare Minerals Maximus, Max, blah, Maximus <laughs> Mascara. It has the biggest, chunkiest, bristly wand and these typically do make my lashes look so long and really really full it just has such an impact on my lashes and I feel like you don't find a lot of these anymore so I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply mascara do you guys see that how long this makes your lashes look it's crazy I usually just skip the bottom lashes so last year I had the perfect color um, it was the Merit uh, Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Marrakesh, which was a beautiful like pinky color. Cause I think you do wanna do a bit of a pink infused lip because it really replicates that flush look when you're out in the sun and you're a little hot. I lost that color, so sad, and I got a different shade when I repurchased it. But a lot of times I do take this one cause it just does have that natural flush look and just tap that on. And that is so pretty. There's something about it. The Catrice Glossy Lip Oil. This is the Powerful Five Glossy Lip Oil. And it's just a really pretty pink color. I love these. I have them in a bunch of shades. I wear them all the time. I've been using them in a lot of my Instagram reels. And that'll just keep it looking kind of fresh and pink. So I just feel like a lip oil is a really great way to go. Look, there's still something really natural looking about a lip oil. Just looks very fresh and juicy and hydrated, so it's not like wearing a thick pigmented gloss, you know what I mean? So I feel like it still works with this look really well. This is where I check and make sure everything is blended. I feel like in person, it like on the camera, it looks like I didn't do a very good job blending my cream blush. Like it looks so bright and intense. But in person, there you go. But I feel like it is, you know, it's pretty authentic to what my skin actually does in the sun. That is it for this look. I hope this wasn't too many products for a no makeup makeup look for you guys, but I feel like it looks super natural when I look in the mirror. It looks like I really don't have any makeup on at all. Obviously, you can tell I do by um, my lip oil and my mascara, but besides that, it just looks super minimal really really just warmed up and has that beachy flush and just very very natural and it feels lightweight on the skin that's my favorite part and it's fast because it's got to be fast <laughs> feel free to drop into the comments 
say hello, say what's up, give me a great summertime product recommendation that you've been loving, really anything at all. I'd love to just chit chat with you guys in the comments of this video. Thank you guys so much for checking in with me and watching and I will see you next time.